Wow, that's a lot of gears. Those are the noises I would be making if the Slant 6 that I brought down to West Tech to dyno test was actually ready to dyno test and not all apart. When I brought it, it was all together. Now, not so much. <laughs> when I picked this motor up, I was told the following thing. It runs, but it has a miss. Now, a miss can be anything. It could be a spark plug, it could be a wire, a cap, a rotor, it could be the valve lash, it could be all kinds of little things or it could be something maybe not so little. So let's find out why I had to take the head off, what I did to diagnose the problem and then maybe figure out what we can do to fix it so I can finally get my very first slant six and make all kinds of car noises, get it up on the dyno. No burnt ones, no foul ones, no damaged ones. So far, so good. So take a look here, our installed height for those valves is not the same, and it should be. What we're going to do is take this intake off, see if we can look in there, see if the valve is bent, and if it is, or are the seats bad or something, we'll probably have to take the head off and do some work on the head. Let's see if we can fix it first. Because it's kind of rusty, we're going to get some penetrating oil, get all those bolts, nuts, so we can you know, free them up a little bit. So now we'll get our tools all out of the way, get our air cleaner off. This would be a great place to set everything. Put all of our valve cover bolts together. Super six.
Yeah. Big throaty two barrel. Not even any filter in there. What's going on? So it looks like we got a bent or a burnt valve or something because we're gonna have to take the head off. Uh, I tried hitting it with a tap it with a hammer to see if there's anything like stuck. Maybe sometimes something gets stuck between the valve and the seat. It just holds the valve open. I was hoping something was stuck in there, a piece of carbon or whatever. But I tried doing that. I tried banging on it a little bit. The thing doesn't want to free up. So what I'm gonna do is pull the head off and we can check it from the other side. I can't really see too well into the port. I've tried to stuck a flashlight and a mirror and stuff in there. Not really working out very well. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna yank the head really fast. We're gonna uh, pull that and see maybe I have to replace a valve or something but it shouldn't be too bad so let's check it out Okay, tell me when you guys see the problem. There it is. I'm gonna pull that exhaust valve out and take a look. I got some other ones that are going bad, so I need to check these. Okay, guys, it should have been fairly obvious what the problem was. <laughs> Take a look at this valve here. Although all of them look not great, but this one is really bad. You see on this one how we're nice and flush here. Exhaust valve kind of flush with the surface there. This one, yeah, no, that's not happening. Big old deep recess. That's because what's missing wah, 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 is the valve seat. Wah. So we'll pull that valve out and you can see Take a look in there. Yep, she's all burnt up. Done burned up. It shouldn't look like that. It should be much better than that. Take a look at this valve. You can see the valve also. Yeah, she got a little torchy. Flame on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, see if you guys can see it maybe a little bit better, but it's all kinds of ugly. Needs a new valve, needs a new seat. I'm hoping we can get just that fixed. I can get this thing back up on the dyno and run it, make a few preliminary runs and see what's going on, see what she does in stock form. She's got our exhaust manifold. I'm hoping that this carburetor still works. There's a little bit of rust in there. I'm a little kind of worried about that. But let's get some, let's get a new valve, get a new valve seat, get her up and running. Cleaned it off a little bit. Hit it with the grinding wheel. You can see it's got a lot of stuff on it.
Look at that. Yeah, that's not good. Well, what can I say, man? Sometimes you gotta cut a slant six. That's exactly what we had to do. Take a look. After pulling the intake and the cylinder head, we're down to the short block, we found a burnt valve. Not just a burnt valve, but a burnt valve and a seat. This thing must have been running for a little while because things were pretty bad. I mean, it burned enough that it actually changed the outside diameter of the valve. The seat's totally destroyed. I'm hoping that they can fix this and we can put this head back on and at least run it in stock trim so we can have our baseline. I mean, that's what this is all about. I want to get this motor back together as cheaply as possible, get it up on the dyno and run the baseline because Later on, we're gonna do a bunch of mods to that head. We're gonna put bigger valves in it. We're gonna mill it. We're gonna port it. We're gonna cut the valve guys down, put springs in it. We're gonna do lots of cool stuff to it to increase the compression, increase the flow, and get more power. But right now, I only need it to be stock. We can get it back together, get back up the dyno. I can do my happy dance, and then maybe we can run a few tests. We can take our, our two barrel intake manifold, maybe compare it to a one barrel intake manifold. Obviously that should be a big upgrade. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can get an adapter to go from this flange up to like maybe the 500 CFM Holly carburetor flange, the two barrel and run that on there. We've got some other intake manifolds. We've got a camshaft or a few camshafts that we can actually run. We've got a lot of cool stuff to do on here, but here's another thing I want you to take a look at. Take a look down here. Look at that, look how far that thing is up. Look how far that thing is down the hole. That's ridiculous. So we're also gonna we're also gonna mill the block to get the compression back up, get that thing back up to TDC, make some real power. So with a ported head, cam, get that thing back up to zero deck. It should make good power. And then obviously we're gonna run all of the intake manifolds that I can get my hands on, run that test and show everybody what all the intake manifolds is out. And then we're gonna have to run boost, obviously a slant six making boost. Everybody needs that. I will see you next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.